sports have become a very important item, as we all know, in broadcasting. And today, I'd like you to meet my guest, Lynn Berman, in New York City, where we're talking with Lynn, who has just joined NBC. And your right. first uh, duty was as a studio commentator yeah, on I, NFL 82, right? right? NFL 82, you know, that show where before the games, and you get to yeah. hear all the scores and the highlights. and. Right, but you have quite a background in, in hosting uh, sports. Uh, didn't yeah. you do something called Forum or sports something? Sports Forum on ESPN, and yeah. I've worked on local stations in Ohio and Massachusetts and New York. So even though I look kind of young, I've been yes. doing this for a long time. You do I've look kind of young years. now that you mention it. What's yeah. Dot Moore? Give me a, what's your real name, Dot? What That's my real name. Dot? Are you ready? Dorothy, yeah, oh, but I never hear Dorothy for some reason. It's Dot? That's well, kind of Dot Moore. You know, that has a kind of people have that nice way of saying it. Right? Like um, I'm well, Lynn. I mean, you're a three-letter person too, yeah. Ellie. That sounds like a quarterback. Okay, you're quarterback in yes. the show. Speaking Dunmore. of quarterbacks, yeah, you're the home of quarterbacks, Alabama. Let's Richard Todd, New York. Start off on, Namath, on the quarter. Stabler. Yeah, you're right, about. Joe Namath. Yeah, sure. Wall. Right, we've got some pretty good baseball players. Hank Aaron's from Mobile. Yeah, absolutely. for one. And yeah. some other ones, yes, we're quite sports uh, yeah. oriented. See down the there. Something about the climate, I think. You see the sculpture they put up in Atlanta? That was yeah, beautiful. sure Aaron. did. It's yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. Um, you know, sports, of course, have become a way of life, more or less, in yeah. the last eight or ten years, have they not? Television's had a lot to do with it. Yeah, I mean, indeed, it sure, has. people do take it. In fact, some people take it too seriously. I mm -hmm. mean, it's not the end all and be all if the guy connects on a touchdown pass. It is. Yeah. If a guy has bet the mortgage on it, it becomes the end all and be all, but that's a sickness. But maybe you know, sports should be taken as what it is. It's a part of society. It's it not everything. Yeah. It's not nothing. I don't know. On the That's weekends, funny. it's everything. It sure is for me right now, Dot Moore. <laughs> yes, it really is. From <laughs> from uh, swimming exhibitions to golf, oh, to football, to yeah. baseball. Well, there's That's a seven. lot of it. Mm -hmm. a lot of, there are a lot of networks and there are a lot of cable. Yeah. There's a lot of programming. So that's why some of that trash gets on there. But I, hopefully there'll be less and, and less. You of, said trash. I didn't. Well, say you know, guys trash. rearranging walls with the with their helmet or their motorcycle. Yeah. Helmet. Okay. I mean, let's talk. Let's talk about uh, what's happening right now in uh, in football players. Oh, NFL goodness. talking yeah. about going on strike. I know that's sad. You want to talk about it? I sure do. I hope they don't go on strike. I certainly have a, an interest in it now. I mean the. Uh, I mean. They're making a lot of money, Dot, those owners. Ooh. They really are. Well, I guess that's Just true. Just from television, before they sell a single ticket, every team's making $15 million a year before they sell a single ticket. They don't have a minor league franchise to, to keep alive the way baseball teams do. They just take those. They have the farm system out of colleges. They're just coming. Most of the teams raise their ticket prices also yeah. this year. There's no shortage of money on that side of yeah. the table. The owners do deserve a share. I'm not saying they deserve 55% of what they're asking. They deserve to be highly compensated for what they do. And I'm gonna, I will defend that to a guy who's not making well, a lot of money. Well, it's, it's a dangerous sport, if you want to put it that way, of all sports. It is a dangerous Contact sport. Contact sport. It is, and it's right. a short-lived sport. So if that guy can make as much as he can for a three or four, and some of those careers are only three or four years, yeah. I, don't, I don't begrudge that guy for trying to cash in because, you know, if he doesn't make the money, the player, that owner's just going to stick it in his pocket because yeah. that money's there. That's coming in. Well, you know, um, Lynn, I was thinking as you were talking, it really is sort of a parallel with the SAG strike and, and some of the things that the actors are claiming they don't get that management gets, right? It's, it's well, a, more or less. It's sports a, is entertainment. Yeah, and when entertainment. When you have a huge yeah. pie, that money, this is, television is another example. Yeah, television, right. a lot of money's coming in. Well, mm -hmm. let's, let's, someone's going to get all that money. Either the management's going to get it or mm -hmm. the workers are going to get it. And I think somewhere there has to be a justification for who gets what. And the players should not be looked upon as just being greedy so-and-sos who are lucky to be playing football because those are the guys who are putting the money in the owner's pocket. So yeah. I think they do. I'm not saying they deserve the whole pie. No. But well, I, But I think they, you know, relative to the other sports, football is the lowest paid. Yes, and uh, along with sports, of course, sports is your life, as they say. Huh? Well, it has to be. Yeah, it has I to mean, be. But, but obviously, you've always pages. been interested. Well, right? I, believe it or not, I'm not a sports freak. I don't. You aren't I, really? I, well, I couldn't tell you the batting average. Or and the, you don't have a percentage. Uh, oh, and you I don't really have do. a real uh, preference for any type of sports. You just well, like what happens whole... when you start to cover it? You start to look at it journalistically. Yeah. For example, I lived. I grew up as a Yankee fan, but I lived in Boston for five years. People mm -hmm. say, "Well, how could you Boston Yankees?" And then you move. You know, you live, and all of a sudden you. I look at the Red Sox now, I don't think of them as a team. I think of Carl Yastrzemski, who I knew. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think I think of the New York mean. Jets. I think of Richard Todd, who's a nice man and yes, I like. Yes, he is a nice man. And I think of Marty Lyons, who plays Alabama, who's a mm -hmm. nice fellow. And the other guy, unless you're thinking out in Alabama, to be patronizing. But I'm just saying there are a lot of nice people there. So 10 years from now, when I think of the Jets, I'll think of Richard Todd. I'm not necessarily going to have a great interest in what the Jets or Yankees. Right now, 
The Yankees, to me, were Mandel and Maris and those guys. That's a very interesting observation. It's a the good people. way to it's look not, at it. Yeah. It's not the, the team, it's the people. Okay, we're just about out of time. That's I know you all, yeah. Let's get more time. This is your no, show. No, I think we just got started, but I know that you have your own production company. I want to get that in because that shows me that you're very interested in that oh, yeah. side of the line as well. Well, someday some owner of a television or a network is going to say, Berman out, and I want to yeah, be prepared. Yeah, you want to be prepared. And so, boy, uh, that's really thinking it out. Congratulations on Thank that. You, it's a pleasure to meet you. I enjoyed meeting you. Can Thank I come you, on your show again? Yeah, Thank please you. do. Just okay. give me a call. Not more. That's okay. a quarterback name.